Isekai. Isekai. Isekai? Isekai is a genre that got so heavily populated, they started releasing shows like this. And they called that cloned garbage anime. All Isekai means is travelling to another world. So if you see the guy get violated by a truck, then you're probably watching an Isekai. So we keep getting bad Isekai over and over again. But now, another bad Isekai. Eminence and Shadow is bad, but it's also good. It's like one of those fat poops you have, but it slightly feels good, but you don't want to be called gay, so you're like, damn, that felt good, but... Anyway, I'm going to be watching every episode of Eminence and Shadow and finding all the memes and moments that made me feel atomic. So let's get straight into the video. This girl right here, she is popular. No anime fan has ever felt this. But for some reason, she's mad that this nigga's boring. Yo, he be jamming. She's walking home, but then she gets kidnapped. That's how Nagatoro fans ask out women. Damn, he's just watching. I just gave a description of Sneaker. No, he really said, I like ya and I want ya. Talk about forcefully clapping cheeks. Bro has them EDP instincts. But luckily this Batman ass nigga comes in. Good night. Bro drops his gun talking about finally a worthy opponent. Like did you just see what that nigga did to your friend? Bro thinks he's stain, but he's worse. He's drinking blood just for the taste. Oh, here it comes. Here's the regret from dropping the gun. Don't go for the gun now. Keep that same energy you had earlier. Damn, I'm gonna have to skip this scene, but just know he got a severe beating just like 6 9 Hey yo, where those crowbars go? He has a GTA 5 inventory. Uh-oh. Truck Coon claimed another soul. I need more power. This nigga edgy as hell. I love him. So one of his girls pulls up Alpha and she's like, there's this huge cult. They might take over the world. What do we do? And Bro says, we look in the shadows and hunt the shadows. And she looks satisfied, like, what do you mean? How does that help the situation? What? My boy Sid pretends to be weak around family and friends, but secretly, he's more OP than Freeze and I tried to be racist challenge. So after flexing on those bandits, he finds a blob. And what do you guys think it is? Do you think it's A, a cute anime girl? B, a cute anime girl? C, a cute anime girl? Or D, a cute anime girl? <gasps> It was a cute anime girl. Damn, that's a big bitch. She tall as hell. His sister got kidnapped or something. Her kidnapper starts talking shit about her brother. And she's like, keep my brother's name out your fucking mouth. Bro flattened her. An absolutely diabolical punch. Since Clubhouse is here, Shadow Garden. Alpha is decimating this man, so he pops a perk. Damn, this guy escaped the same way I would have to escape if my search history ever got leaked. Nah, Sid's a menace. He starts giving him a lesson on how to fight while beating his ass. This nigga collects women like Pokemon. Andrew Tate activities. Yo, that's not even funny. That's just mental illness. Dragon Ball fans when an anime drops somebody stronger than their lord and savior, Goku. Connie, what are you doing here? You're supposed to be stopping the rumbling. He asked out a princess because of a dare and she says yes. The only reason why she accepted was because she doesn't want to date this guy. But I don't know what's wrong with him, I would. I mean, I mean, I would fight him. Like, what are you talking about? I've only watched a bit of JoJo's. Nah, no, that's crazy. She got this nigga barking like a dog for money. If it was Makama, I'll do that shit for free. Buff, buff. So he goes to school and it turns out the princess didn't go home last night and he was the last person to see her. Yo, that would literally be me if robbing stores at gunpoint was illegal. Bitches just be getting kidnapped in this show. We're only four episodes in and we've had three kidnappings. That's almost a kidnapping an episode. How girls look at me when I show them my true personality. Bro is getting the shit kicked out of him because they think that he kidnapped the princess. And then they throw him out and that arch is crazy. Bro has experience. A One Piece fan's face when Oda doesn't foreshadow their unrelenting loneliness. These guys try framing Sid for the kidnapping and he did not let that slide. I repeat, he did not let that slide. Of course this guy's behind the kidnapping, cold ass n****. Bro is moving Chris Breezy. Uh oh, Shadow's here. And he just starts disrespecting him, the same way Boruto fans disrespect basic hygiene. Damn, these cult members love their drugs. Men in the 1950s when their wife doesn't cook dinner. Yo, Shadow is tripping, he's like, I couldn't withstand a nuke. So how about, I become the nuke?
<laughs> Shadow speaking English and the fact that he just nuked the city like he got a 25 kill streak in Modern Warfare 2. Yo, why are these bitches smiling? He just nuked innocent civilians. The fuck? Can't you see that he's covered in blood? The blood got her feeling some type of way or something? Some guy is killing niggas and filming Shadow Garden. These guys are running away from Shadow the same way this guy runs away from women. Bro, he's faking being a weak nigga yet again. The amount of effort is ludicrous. Come on animation team, we're gonna use all of the budget on her lips? The school is being attacked by the quiet kids in school and Sid sacrifices himself for this girl. <laughs> this nigga really said I'm dead as he's dying. Yo, this guy is broken. He hit the self revive like he's playing Apex Legends. They are literally in an anti magic field and he is using magic. That's like EDP going within 100 feet of a school. It just shouldn't be possible. He might actually put FaZe Gabby out of business. Sid's a damn menace. He's taking them out like he's playing Batman Arkham City. Who actually thought he escaped the beating? This is the backstory of any video of Healer fan because you have to be psychologically damaged to enjoy that show. Also, how the hell did she not know that her dad did it? Those are the only two niggas in the room. This anime is more predictable than the comment section of somebody who just beat cancer. I say that because this night ass nigga is definitely the girl's dad. The magical barrier goes down and they all just start scrapping. How the hell does she not know who he is? She saw him about 15 minutes ago and now he just has a hood on. This man is lost. He's staring at a wall. What? It's her dad? The nigga that radiated evil energy throughout the series? Who would have guessed? Sid gets speed blissed, but then Shadow pulls up. And he is not playing. Bro kills him in the same way he killed his wife, just to flex on him. That's crazy. The trauma this bitch has gone through is absolutely diabolical. She is leaving the city. When she comes back, I know she's going to be Shadow's number one op. The cameraman is bricked up this episode. What is he on? Rimuru guest appearance? She's trying to get her back burner and he's hiding on the ceiling like he's Spider-Man. I would give my left arm like Shanks just to be punched by him. Sid is truly a Chad. Goes into a hot spring, ignores the woman, names his cock Excalibur, then leaves. This guy's moving like Morgan Freeman. This door won't stop following him so he says fuck it and just goes inside. Only in anime can this weird shit just be allowed to fly. Ayo, hey, she is grabbing those bouncy balloons, those calcium cannons, those mummy milkers, but when I do I go to jail? Personally, I don't think freeing a bitch in a straitjacket is a good idea, but that's just me. The cult has been experimenting on kids. Bro, how are you gonna have those two fucked up slides and have these niggas high-fiving the next? The cult has been using demon cells for those perks and immortality. God damn, that was kinda uncalled for. Dr. Eggman is back and he does not look happy. Yo, shut your mouth. I don't need to see the inside of your mouth. Eggman used Shadow Clone Jutsu, but that angle was absolutely criminal. And for some unknown reason, Sid is out here killing zombies like he's playing The Walking Dead. Anti-magic makes their clothes disappear. This is gonna be literally me now. Not gonna lie, that is a comedically large sword. Sid is fighting this elf girl and he's low-key getting owned because he doesn't have magic. But then he gets stabbed. But he smiles. This is crazy. This guy's an inhuman beast. This is the type of shit Christian Rock would do. Eggman spawns in loads of elf girls and he starts using magic in an anti-magic zone. <laughs> I can't be, whenever this guy speaks English it has me rolling. That's me when I take my schizo medication and my anime girlfriend starts fading away. Rose has a curse mark like she's Sasuke or something. She keeps falling down the stairs but Zoro's friend couldn't even handle that once. <laughs> Are these medieval mages eating McDonald's? She's sad because she has to go through an arranged marriage. Oh, she stabbed him and now she's a fugitive. Some girl pulls up and apparently she's Alpha's older sister. She throws an attack to see if he's lying about his strength, but he just commits to being a background character, to being an NPC. Sid, also known as Average Young Man, is memeing on this guy. He dodges an attack and instead of counter-attacking, he just slowly takes out his sword. And the next time the guy charges at him, he goes flying. But you know what is even crazier? He knocked him out with a sneeze. Connie with potatoes for Sasha? That is 100% an AOT reference. He is moving like Rock Lee out here. 
my face after watching season 2 of shield hero he's a straight villain and he's not even trying to hide it he brought an entire grand piano underground just to look cool for one person <laughs> The princesses start fighting over who would look better shaking it, butt booty naked, Mikasa or Evan. Yo, that's kind of cold. She comes out of the darkness and she's holding this girl slumped over. She's choking him out, but it should have been me, not him. The richest paladin player's house. Those niggas can't afford Overwatch. So the fight between Sid and Iris finally starts and she keeps having visions of death again and again. The stress starts getting to her and she gets as angry as low tier god when he asks him one of the simplest questions. Sid is just bullying her at this point. That's fucked. Her dad sees her losing and he just leaves. Rose pulls up and she ends up killing her own dad. Average young man finally reveals himself as Shadow. My face when I see Gideon just uploaded a new video. I'm actually really happy. I just had the tizzle. Beatrix and Sid just start going at it. She is flabbergasted. My face when I realize robbing stores at gunpoint is actually illegal. Even against the god of war, he just can't help but flex a little. Iris is pissed. They're gonna jump him. Sid radiates black air force energy. He starts using crowbars against them. Don't tell Jason Todd though. Damn, that's a devious kick. Bitch, are you deaf? You're telling me you didn't hear that shockwave? Bro is hitting MMA and WWE moves. And his name is John Cena. Iris starts talking mad shit. She's like, you're gonna have nowhere else to run after this. And Shadow just starts laughing. He's like, me? Run away? You got me fucked up. Bro is about to nuke everything. And look at the defeat on their faces. But it turns out he was just trolling. My face when the girl I've been researching rejects me and calls me a stalker. The room of the most mentally sane eminence and shadow fan. I think I might have found my favourite gun in this anime. So that was basically the eminence and shadow. It's a pretty predictable show, but oh boy is it entertaining. Season 2 has already been announced and you can bet your left nut that I'm going to be making a video on it. So if this video made you feel atomic, then please like and subscribe. I'm going to go beat to Delta or something. See ya.